Okay, guys. So, looks like we're back in the saddle again. Um, my team axe might look slightly different from last time you've seen it. Well, that's because it is. So, as most of you know, I had the Dynamite 19, Mach 2 19, whatever you want to call it. And it's a fantastic little engine. It makes, like, really good power and stuff. But for some reason, I don't know what the deal is. This thing just keeps eating back plates and starter shafts. So it'll run awesome for, like, three or four tanks and start to run really lean and won't tune. And then it's all over the damn place. And then you pull the back cover off and there's a bunch of slop. Like, I'm talking, you grab the starter shaft and it's like this. Like, literally puking and falling apart. So I'm going to see about having a using a different material in that back plate. Uh, and um, having something machined to uh, to fix that because these engines really do run nice. Um, so if you notice this is the first, well, the very first generation. You can see that dot. Uh, let's see if I can get something here so we can look at this together. So if you look here, you can see that dot. The original ones didn't have that, and if you want to use the Traxxas pull starter, they didn't fit. Now, if you do come across a first gen 19 like this, and you don't want to make a plastic shim that's, I think, 40 or 50 thousandths thick out of a piece of plastic, uh, you can use an SH18 pull starter and Pro 15 one way bearing. That'll work in there. But they put this dot here to say that the, they revised the issue, which they didn't. It still had the same problem. It was better, but not quite fixed all the way. And then if you get one with two dots, that one's completely fixed, and the Traxxas pull starter will have no problem bolting on. But like I said, this one-way or a starter shaft and a bushing combo, and just I don't know what the hell the problem is. They keep chewing up on mine, so I've given up on that for now. Um, this engine still does have fantastic pinch and compression and new bearings and all sorts of fun stuff. But that guy's off to the side for now. And I put my 3.3 rebuilt in there. Um... I forgot that, unfortunately, these dynamite little dynamite air filters don't fit 3.3 carbs. Uh, so that's a little annoying, but I'm sure I can make an adapter to make it fit. This is not actually a Traxxas carburetor. This is a low C or low C or however you spell it, a 3.4 carburetor. I got from, oh, I can't remember who sent it to me a while back. Um, anyways, yeah, so buddy from the States, you watch my channel, you know who you are. Thank you again. Uh, and then another guy... Um, fucking name is i think dustin yeah he sent me that ths pipe a while back so um these don't fit a 3.3 well they do but you have to use the uh, little black rubber donut funny little top hat shaped gasket and a spring to uh to uh make them fit so hopefully that stays sealed up other than that it's a factory rebuild pretty much uh i am going to be sending a piece of aluminum away to have it custom drilled and then i'm going to finish the rest of it myself and then we're going to be putting a handmade 7075 non-bushing connecting rod in this engine at a later date. But, just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update what the hell's been going on. Like I said, I've had some issues with the family, and uh, everything's fine. Everything's cool. Um, just been working with the uncle and stuff like that lots and getting him all sorted out. Um, firewood and whatnot, but anyways... Um, yeah, racket, blah, 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 work, all that other bullshit. <laughs> Things you guys don't want to hear about. Anyway, yeah, so there you go, 3.3's in, and we will break that in on video. And you guys will get to see it run for the first time again. So the weather here in my area of Vancouver has been absolutely terrible. And it's been raining, and it's been really cold, so hopefully the weather clears up here and we can get a nice warm day. And maybe if my buddy Brian comes back out again, who owns the KO show that you guys saw in the last video, uh, we can use his generator and heat gun and get this 3.3 uh, broken in. And I think I did mention in the past that with 3.3s, I mean, yeah, I've shit-talked them, and you guys know that. And I will always shit-talk them. <laughs> but, um, so, what I was getting at was when you do these engines or when you have a 3.3, the lossy 3.4 carburetor is one of the best upgrades or the OS 11 K. If you can find one decent exhaust, don't follow the Traxxas break in method. Don't run the Traxxas plug, run an OS LC three and uh, yeah, decent pipe, decent carb, decent fuel. I don't use your fuel at all. It's garbage. Use like a good 20 or 30% with around between eight and 12% oil. But 
when you do the Adam Drake break in method, that's what you want to run with on these. So preheat the engine, get it up to about 200 degrees or as close to it as possible. Cycle it, you know, idle tanks, two, three, four, five of them, whatever you want. And then take it easy for about a quart. Run maybe two quarts to a gallon, maybe two quarts, whatever you want. And then buy a new connecting rod, a high quality set of bearings like Fast Eddies or Avids or Bacher or whatever the hell you can get. And a new wrist pin. I know this sounds ridiculous, but tear the engine down after you got about a gallon on it. Replace those parts. Because uh, during the break-in, it's the hardest on these rods. And we already know how 3.3 rods are. They're not very strong. So if you replace them after the break-in, about a gallon, maybe two, uh, and freshen them up, they last a hell of a lot longer. So I have been digging through several other engine manufacturers to see if I can find a connecting rod. That'd just be something you can buy off the shelf. But so far, I haven't had any luck. These are quite a long stroke engine compared to the uh, to the 19 here, which are, these are under square. So the piston's actually, the uh, piston's bigger than the stroke is, if that makes sense. On the 3.3, it's the other way around. And another news, you guys were wondering, the 041 AV, the old still, it's kind of back together. So I'm just waiting on some parts from Europe for it. And you guys will see it come back. And run. It's got a new top end in there. All sorts of good stuff. Nice and clean. But I was going to stick my resonator pipe back on, but I thought, well, I've never tried a 3.3 with a THS before, so I'm going to run with that and see what happens. Anyways, hopefully a run of it will be soon. Anyways, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Keep on burning nitro. P.S. I don't know when the run, run video is going to be, hopefully soon, but I have to go back out and work again, so about a hundred and something kilometers away from where I live. So anyway, cheers, guys.